People need to get, be able to get back to work. People are going to be destitute if this goes on much longer. Arthur Curtis and his family, part of the parade of cars, sending a message to City Hall and the mayor to lift the stay-at-home order and let Oklahoma get back to work. We can do this. We've, we've done it so far. We've social distanced. We've done all these things that we've been asked to do, and the numbers are staying down. We're, we're trending downward, and we believe that it's time to, to lift the restrictions and let us get back to work. Some of the protesters had signs stuck to their cars, painted on their windows. Others, like Dana Green, spoke about their frustration and lack of work. Right now, all of our projects are on hold uh, because of the, nobody's working right now. I don't blame anybody for being frustrated that businesses are closed. I'm frustrated that businesses are closed. Mayor Bynum responding, saying he understands their feelings and the need also to continue the order for public safety. But the alternative that we had in going into this was to have uh, our neighbors potentially dying thousands more than we're going to end up with because of the work that Tulsans have done. But these citizens feel like Tulsans have done enough and that they know enough to protect themselves and their workers. It's kind of like do what mama told us to when we were growing up. When you sneeze, now we sneeze into our elbow, right? When you're sick and you're running a fever, don't go out. They'll have to wait, but they won't be quiet. We're doing okay for the moment, but, you know, it's all a matter of time.